Hi, Tom, next browser. Let's talk about bookmarklets. So we're gonna cover what is a bookmarklet, uh, how to use them, and then uh, we'll walk through an example. Uh, this example comes from Pedro's how-to article on bookmarklets. The, uh, the snippets in there were getting a little dated, so those have been updated and the description of this video will have a link to that nice walkthrough by Pedro and to the snippets that will actually function um, and find the packages they're supposed to. So let's do it. Okay. In browsers, you are able to open the inspector and go to the console and enter, oops, <laughs> and enter things in JavaScript and run them. Great, uh, you can do that at any time, that's up to you. Uh, a bookmarklet is a way to take those, uh, if you find something that works for you, to save it into the next UI and then deploy it uh, where you would like. So our example today is a bookmarklet called Hack YouTube Speed, um, which is just a name that just sort of made sense. Um, Okay, so how to do it. We're going to navigate to a page that has video playback speed, so it actually makes sense to do. And we're gonna make sure that bookmarklets mode is on. So just go toggle modes and make sure that bookmarklets mode is checked. Okay, looks like mine is not, so I'm gonna check it, return. Now it's on, okay. I know that on YouTube I, I can already change the speed with this little gear, but it's going to give me kind of limited options. It's going to give me, you know, between a quarter speed and, and 2x speed. So let's make sure that's muted. Uh, here's what we're going to do with the bookmarklet. Hack YouTube speed. Now at the bottom of the screen, notice this input buffer is asking for what new speed would you like? Um, 2.5 seems nice. Let's uh, get a little bit crazy with maybe 3x speed. Great. Yeah. yeah. This guy looks really crazy talking at 3x speed. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how do we get here? So, again, the bookmarklet takes a piece of JavaScript and brings it into your nice next UI. And this is how you set one up. I've overcomplicated this for you and feel free to pause and use this as reference while you write your own. Um, but I will include both the recipe for any bookmarklet and this specific example uh, in the description of the video. Um, I guess I might as well just do it slowly now so you can, you can see how it's done. Um, I'm gonna copy this guy and go to next. Edit user files. Edit user file with external editor. Well, is an easy way to get to my configuration file if I don't know where it is. Uh, config.lisp is the name of the file. Okay. Um, direct your attention to the bottom of the page. This is the important piece. Um, and yeah, that's that's just the snippet right there. Um, so once that's saved here and you have bookmarklet mode on, then it'll show up in your prompt buffer. So very good. Thanks for your attention and the rest is up to you.